Hey everyone, it's Sunday, um, March the 8th. Um, it's been 16 weeks since I broke both of my ankles. Um, I'm walking fairly well now. Um, still a little uh, Frankensteinish, but I'm doing really well. I went to Walmart this morning and I got, um, I didn't do a whole lot of shopping, but I didn't use an electric scooter. I um, used a buggy. Uh, by the time I got home, my left foot felt like it was numb, but I guess that's better than it, than it hurting. Um, doctor had said on my last visit that I'm really right on time with my um, healing, except that, um, you know, since I broke both of my ankles, uh, it's going to take a lot longer to get back to what uh, most people would call normal. So that involves, you know, just time, I guess. That's the only thing I can, the only way to say it is time. Um, I'm kind of back to my regular routine. Um, I usually like to get all my stuff done on Saturday so that I have Sunday as a day of just doing what I want to do, but the way it is right now when I get home from work, I am so worn out, I just, I'm, I'm done. And um, by the time Saturday comes, I absolutely cannot do anything. I just can't do it. My feet just can't take it. So um, I just basically sit around all day Saturday and, and catch up on my YouTube and uh, whatever else I need to uh, sit and do. I can't get up and do anything. So Sundays is my day for doing uh, laundry and trying to do any cleaning that I can physically able to do, shopping, that kind of thing, food prep. Um, although a lot of things have kind of gone by the wayside. <clears throat> I have a lot of weeds in my flower beds. I can't do anything about that. They're basically just going to be weeds this year. And if my HOA doesn't like it, well, some of them can volunteer to come on over and clean it up. Um, it's just the way it is. And um, so things get better little by little. I did go, I did ride my bike a little bit last weekend, only just maybe 15 minutes or so. Um, getting on and off of it was the tough part. Um, riding my bike isn't um, that bad because um, it is a three-wheeler, so I don't have to constantly put my feet down to balance, and I'm not shifting gears or anything like that. It's an automatic. Uh, the brake pedal's on the right side, and it's pretty much like driving a car, you know, just, just got a brake pedal, that's all. So that wasn't too bad. I, I would go again today, except the weather is a little on the chilly side. For me, I like for it to be close to 70 before I ride, and it's like lower 60s, and you get out there and you freeze. Anyway, I'm probably going to start doing some more budgeting things soon. Um, I am I'm pretty close to paying off my SUV, and I'm really happy about that. Um, I, I'm trying to get to the point where I am um, close to retirement without any debt, and um Things happen, obviously, since I broke both my ankles. That has set me back oh, huge. But um, thankfully, I had enough money saved that um, it, I, it was covered as far as deductibles and all that with our wonderful insurance we have here in the USA. Anyway, um, that's about it for now. And um, more on this later, maybe, if there's anything happens. Oh, and yesterday... I was moving someone and I kicked the I kicked this thing with my foot and my one of my middle toes on my right foot is purple. Very sore. Um, I don't think it's broken. I just think that the soft tissue damage from all of the tra trauma that I had from before um, just kind of you know made it really easy to, to bruise. Um, if it's still purple tomorrow when I go to work, I might take an x-ray of it just to make sure. But, I mean, there's really nothing you can do if you have a, a little break in your toe. you basically got to tape it to the next one and keep going. It's just kind of difficult to walk on it. Anyway, more later. Bye.